I'm smelling this perfume again, and I think I really like it. Hmm. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. We have another haul, and every time I film these, I get super excited, and I'm pretty sure it's because I'm more excited about how much money I saved as opposed to some of the products that I got. Let me know if that makes sense to y'all. You love a good sale, you love a good discount, sometimes more than you love what you bought. So today, we are doing another cosmetics company store haul. I picked up a lot of goodies I can't wait to show you guys. And yeah, this is the bag right here. So you can tell it's gonna be a big one. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I'm not gonna keep y'all waiting. I feel like this video is gonna be long. So if you wanna see what I picked up at the cosmetics company store, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so I'm not gonna go in any order. I'm just gonna reach in the bag and pull stuff out. First thing I'm pulling out was actually a free gift because of how much I spent. This is the Estee Lauder Nutritious Super Pomegranate Radiant Energy Lotion, and it says Intense Moist. So this is a pretty big box. I love getting skincare items for free because I don't normally spend a lot of money on skincare, and I know I should, but I don't know, I just, I like spending my money on makeup. It is what it is. So this is what it looks like. This is a nice size bottle. This is, how many ounces? 6.7 fluid ounces. So I feel like this will be something I put in my nighttime routine, but it says that it helps to intensely hydrate, detox, and energize. Does it say, when you're supposed to use it or how many times. So I guess it just depends on probably at night because if I'm wearing makeup during the day, I don't wear super hydrating stuff because I want my makeup to last. The next thing I picked up was also a free gift and I am I was excited because I don't, I don't know if they normally do this or not, but this is the Modern Muse Eau de Parfum. This is an Estee Lauder brand and this is 1.1 fluid ounce, just one fluid ounce. And I have never smelled this, so this is what the bottle looks like. Super cute. I don't know what it smells like, and I'm not wearing anything, so let's see. Mmm, it's not bad. I'm gonna put the notes on the screen for to tell you guys what it is. I normally like warm florals, fruity florals, um, and I'm not sure what this is. It's not bad though, I would definitely wear this. It wouldn't be like one of my nighttime trying to get sexy, smell good kind of scents, but I feel like it kind of has that warm floral smell to it. The next thing I picked up is this Born This Way Matte Foundation. This is in the shade mm, Spiced Rum. I have this, but I believe I have it in Mocha. When I first started my channel over a year ago, I did a review comparing it to the original Born This Way foundation, and it does last longer, it does stay matte longer, but at the time, I had just started Accutane and my skin was drying out, so I didn't use this as much. I feel like the shade is too light for me now, so I picked this one up. If you have not seen this before, which I'm not sure how, if you watch any makeup videos, this is what it looks like. Might be a smidge dark, but y'all know how I like my foundation, so. Yeah, so that is what it looks like there. And then when I put my concealer and my powder and everything, I always feel like that looks really good for me. The next thing I picked up is another Too Faced item. This is the Hangover Pillow Cream. This is their Ultra Nourishing Night Cream infused with mineral rich stardust. Okay, girl, this is 1.5 fluid ounces. I'm not gonna open this. It just says that it moisturizes, leaves your skin feeling replenished, looks healthier, and gives a luminous glow. Apply light nightly to clean skin or use after applying a serum, avoid your eyes. So I love night cream, super hydrating products that can sink in 
And when I feel wake up, I feel like I'm a little more refreshed, a little nourished, you know, not looking ragged. So that's why I wanted to try this one. The next thing is also a Too Faced product, I guess. I don't know why. I don't know. I just picked up a lot of Too Faced stuff. This is their Hangover Wash the Day Away Pore Purifying Gentle Foaming Cleanser. It says it has refreshing fruit, extracts, and hyaluronic acid. It detoxifies, nourishes, and calms. I don't know if they were doing a sale on Too Faced or what the deal is, but uh, yeah, I just picked some stuff up. Um, this says deeply clean skin, removes makeup and purifies pores, powered with a refreshing blend of lime peel and apple extracts with soothing ginger, ginger root. The pore purifying formula creates a soft cloud rich creamy lather, draws out impurities, removes all traces of makeup and excess oils while hyaluronic acid helps to rebalance and hydrate the skin. Soothing scent calms your mind and lifts your mood. And it does not say you have to use day or night, but I'm assuming with all of the claims, this would probably be good for at night to wash everything away. So that's probably when I'm gonna use it. I also, how many of these did I get? One, two, three, I think four if I can find the other one, or just three. Maybe just three. I picked up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Pumps. These were $4. I think you can buy the MAC pumps and they are maybe like six or eight dollars, something like that. Y'all comment below and let me know if you know. But yeah, these were on sale for $4. So I picked up a few of them because I bought an Estee Lauder foundation, the Double Wear, and then I have some in my drawer that don't have a, a pump on it. So I just wanted to get a pump to put them on. We have another Too Faced product. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. This is also in the shade Spiced Rum. It says it's infused with, oh, it's covered with a sticker, coconut something, alpine something, and hyaluronic acid. There's a sticker blocking what I'm trying to read. It says it sets your makeup, controls shine, and also is good for a touch-up. I never use a regular powder for a touch-up because I feel like I don't want to add something that'll add more coverage, but I think this is going to be a really good shade. I picked up one of these before, I feel like, and the shade might have been a little too dark, who knows, but so if that, that's the Too Faced Spiced Rum, and then this is the powder. You can tell the powder is a little tiny bit lighter right up there. And then that's the foundation. So those can balance each other out. So yeah, that'll be a good blend. I picked up another powder. This is from MAC. This is the water weight powder. I don't know that I've heard of this before. Um, this is in the shade Dark Deepest. And MAC stuff, I feel like, is always super discounted at the cosmetics company store. This actually looks pretty dark. That is what the shade looks like there. So, I don't know. If it's really lightweight and sheer, I think it'll be, it definitely is a darker shade than the Too Faced one I just swatched. But even still, it's, I don't know if you can even see that. Probably not. Um, even still, it's super lightweight. It's kind of sheer coverage. So it's more just to set everything because I don't like my face to feel sticky or wet and maybe to help balance out color a little bit if I need to. This one looks a little more golden or neutral, I should say, than the other. Either way, I'll have powders to choose from and it was on sale. The next thing I picked up is the Smashbox Camera Ready Precise Highlighting Brush. I'm not sure, I think I have one of these already, but I don't remember if I've used it yet or not. I have talked about wanting to use more high-end brushes and kind of get an idea for what the difference is, why people say brushes actually matter. I'm still very naive to that. I use drugstore brushes, I'm fine with them. But these, like, these high-end brushes are expensive, sometimes more expensive than makeup. So if I can get it on sale and it's something I want to try to see if it makes a difference, I'm going to do that for sure because if it's not, then why the hell would I spend full price to get it? So this will be, like it says, for highlighting. It's a really small brush, I think, for highlighting, but that's what it's for, so I'll try it. 
I also picked up a Smashbox waterproof coal liner. This is in the shade Violetta. So she is a purple, but it is a dark purple. I have a lighter purple from, I think it's LA Girl probably, but this one, it's the Always Sharp. So you guys, if you're familiar with those at all, you just sharpen it in the cap. And then, oh yeah, that's pretty. That is it right there. It is definitely purple, but dark. So the other one I have when I wear it, it is like almost like a electric purple, not neon, but definitely light enough to where you can tell, oh, that's purple. This is more like dark purple, almost black. So it can add some drama to the look, but still a little pop of color. We have some more Smashbox. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. This is in medium dark warm. I don't know if I have this or not already. I don't think that I do. This is what the shade looks like. And I think I was able to swatch these in the store and I felt like this wasn't gonna be like super brightening. I remember I wanted to try to find something that I thought I could wear more like I'm not really doing a full face of glam, so I don't want it to be as bright as I normally go, but I think I still ended up getting a brighter one. So I'm gonna let this dry down. I do feel like it looks a little golden than what I normally wear, but either way, I'll just put a translucent powder to kind of neutralize it. I have make sure, one more Smashbox item. This is another always on liquid lipstick. This was in the shade Deep Thoughts, y'all. I don't think this is gonna match. I'm not gonna try, ooh, I don't know. This is what the shade looks like. It might actually match what I have on, maybe a little darker, but I'll just swatch it. I love these. And the only thing I don't like is I feel like they dry out really fast, but the formula is gorgeous. Oh, this is gonna be perfect for fall. It's like a nude, brownish, beige-ish color. <laughs> I don't know, but I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And I feel like this, I would probably be able to wear by itself or with a lip liner. So I will be keeping this one out to try in a video soon. I have a few more MAC products. This one is the MAC Patent Paint Lip Lacquer. This one's in the shade Lacquered Up. I don't know that I've seen these before. I mean, I don't really check for MAC, so that's probably why, but I just, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like when I first got into makeup, MAC was like all everybody talked about. And now you don't hear so much about it anymore. But I hadn't seen these. This is what the shade looks like. This is definitely more of like kind of spring, not fall, but I do what I want. So I might wear it anyway. I'm going to swatch it next to the other. This is a lip lacquer. So it's not as drying, but it's very opaque. That is what the shade looks like there. It is a pink, but if you match it with a darker lip liner, you can make a shade be anything you want. So take that with a grain of salt. You can wear this any time of the year. You just change the lip liner and you'll be fine. Another MAC product, this is the Love Me Liquid Lip Color. I remember saying I wasn't gonna buy any more lip products because I have a ton of lip products and I don't usually change up my lip look that much like it's usually just find a nude or something that kind of matches and you're good but i i don't know i saw these and i was like you know what let's try you probably need to get rid of some of the stuff you have anyway um this is in the shade baited breath this is what the packaging looks like the packaging is on this on this is cute too so that's another thing but we'll swatch this one as well now this one I could see being more fall. It's a little more on the berry side. This is a gorgeous color. So that is it right there. That could be fun. Like I don't wear red lips a lot, but I feel like this could still be like my version of a red. I'm smelling this perfume again and I think I really like it. Hmm. I have one more Too Faced item. This is the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. Do I have this? I don't think I have this. I think when I was gonna buy it, it was, I couldn't find my shade or I wasn't sure about the shades. And 
Now, this one I also got in spiced rum. I wonder, I'll wipe the other one off. I'm wondering how close this one is to the other shade. This is a pretty deep shade, but I would rather my shades be deep than be too light and have me looking ashy. So it looks very similar to the one I swatched earlier. <laughs> I know y'all probably thinking what is wrong with Barbara? Why does she do this to herself? Y'all, I, I just do, I can't. Every time, I would rather get a dark foundation than a light one. It always ends up balancing out, I feel like. I mean, the one I have on right now is kind of dark, but we're good, so yeah, that's dark. <laughs> I have another Estee Lauder product. This is their Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. This is in the shade 4N, medium deep neutral. Is this the one that I got? Maybe this is the one I got, I think. Or not. The one that I got that I thought would be closer to wearing for a no makeup makeup. Girl, you lie. <laughs> it's lighter than the other one. Okay, I don't know what I was talking about. But I've always wanted to try this concealer because I love Estee Lauder Double Wear. That looks way lighter on camera than it does in person. Well, with these dark foundations, you probably need it anyway. So, yeah. I'm going to let that dry down a little bit, but that's pretty light. I picked up another stick foundation. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick in the shade C084 Almond. I don't know if I have this already either. <laughs> I just hope I don't have the same shade. If I have it and I have different shades, that's fine. But if it's the same thing, I, I probably need some help. But this is what it looks like. And I'll find somewhere to swatch it where you guys can see. So that is the shade there. Definitely closer to me than that is. So I think that'll be a good shade. And I like Bobbi Brown foundations. I've just had trouble finding my shade. So hopefully this will be it. I have a few products from Clinique. I also picked up a concealer from them. Yo, I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, I gotta laugh at myself. This is the Even Better All Over Concealer and Eraser in the shade WN80 Tawnied Beige. That sounds light. Let's see. Oh yeah, it is. What am I smoking? I'm gonna swatch it. I'm swatching next to these other ones. Yeah, it's about the same as the other ones. <laughs> it's that one right there, so. These are coming off looking really light. I'm using more natural daylight today than I am my lights. <laughs> I can't help but laugh at myself. Yeah, that's light. It's fine, but that's light. The next thing I picked up, I absolutely love this. And I think I have a backup, but only have one backup and I already used up like two bottles of it. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge 96 Hour Hydro Filler Concentrate. This is an eye cream. I love it. I feel like it helps. I haven't had this in a while, but I feel like it kind of helps. I know, you, I know you guys can see. Like my eyes look a little hollow here and I feel like it kind of helps to fill that in a little bit and just make it not look so sunken in and deep. But I haven't had it in a while. So I cannot wait to start using this again to see if I notice a difference because I feel like I remember that when I used it. The last Clinique product, this was kind of just a whim. This is their Cheek Pop blush. What's it called? Okay, there's two blushes and a highlighter. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> this is what it looks like. One of this blush and the highlighter, absolutely gorgeous. I feel like I remember that one being like, what, what would I do with that? But maybe layer them. Thought the packaging was really, really cute. And then yeah that shade is light i don't know what i would do with that but these other two absolutely gorgeous these two here let me see i'm gonna go ahead and swatch them all yeah that one shade is light i don't know where i ain't going nowhere with that but that middle shade is life these feel really smooth so that's the lightest one there that looks like a matte highlighter and then the blush and then the highlight So that is it right there. I feel like every time I use natural daylight, it's almost like washed out a little bit and you can't really see that middle blush, but that shade is perfect. So two out of three, not bad.
I also picked up some more MAC wipes. These are the Gently Off wipes in my cellar water. These were not as cheap as I thought they were. I think I picked up like two or three packs and then I got to the register and I was like, oh wait, how much? Oh no, put those back, I'll just get one. I really only use makeup wipes. If I have a face full of makeup, I'll do a pass with a makeup wipe before I start my removal process and it is a process or I use it for swatches. So I try to get these on a discount because I don't really use them for what they're always intended for. Last makeup item, probably save the best for last. I picked up another Tom Ford lipstick. This is in the shade Vein. Tom Ford lipsticks are $56. I can't do it. <laughs> I will never. But at the store, they're usually 40 to 50% off. And then sometimes, depending on how much you spend, you'll get another 10 or 15% off on top of that. So this, I'm pretty sure I got 50% off. I love the packaging of these. It feels heavy. It feels luxe. And this shade is absolutely gorgeous. It is a dark, definitely a fall kind of vampy color. Oh, that, I, this is probably going to go in my purse. This one is not that matte, which I kind of like, but that is the shade there. Ooh, that is so gorgeous. It's still kind of a pink, but it's like a muted dark berry pink. It's not like that patent color I showed you earlier. So could probably pair those. I don't know that I would because I like the color of this one by itself, but if you wanted to just lighten it, if you want to make your lips look fuller, you can put a lighter color in the center and it'll help them look fuller. I don't need help with that, but I still do it sometimes anyway. The last three products I have are hair products and I think they're all Bumble and Bumble. Yes. The first one is this Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. This is a soft texture finishing spray that gives styled hair a tousled texture with a feather soft feel. This says for drier parched hair. I bought this for my wigs. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't think I would use something like this for my hair, maybe, but I don't really do. Y'all have seen how I style my hair. I always style it like that. It's less fuss. It's not a lot of heat. It lasts long. But when I'm doing my wigs, sometimes I have trouble styling them. Sometimes they have trouble holding their shape. This one is behaving. Um, but I did find a video that said like sometimes curling hair that is really silky or soft, if you spray a texturizing spray first and then spray something to help hold the curls and also use a heat protectant, it can help the curls to last and stay volumized. So stuff like this is really expensive and I don't, I don't like using like really high end products on wigs, but this was discounted. So I don't mind. I also picked up the BB Glow Blow Dry Accelerator. I use this on my hair. I have a bottle in my bathroom. This is a backup. It might be a second backup. I don't remember. <laughs> I might have one back there in that cabinet, but for sure, I was like, you know what? You love this. You don't see it in the store all the time, so go ahead and grab one. And then the last thing I picked up, this is the Bumble and Bumble BB Preta Powder Tray Invisible Dry Shampoo. UV protective two-in-one style extender to cleanse and lightly volumize from roots to end. For normal to oily hair, I'm gonna try this on my hair, but I also got this for my wigs. So again, this says that it helps to provide a little texture, which is what I was looking for. Also some volume, so yeah, I think this is gonna be great. And that is it for my haul. I feel like I laughed at myself most of this video because I realized how ridiculous I am. I hope you guys Got a good laugh too. I'm excited about a lot of the products that I picked up and it's going to be interesting to see how I make them work, but it's makeup. It's fun. You can always adjust stuff to fit what you need. So it's never just like, oh, this is absolutely wrong. I wasted money. So I'm happy about it. Thank you guys for sticking with me till the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, Thanks for staying to the end and please join the family by hitting that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.